I'm born in a place called Tone in Sudan in Barakazal state. And I was born in the time when the war was happening. SPLA was formed, and when it was formed, it brought a lot of tension. The Arabs came and captured my town, and people were killed seriously. The houses were burned, the cattle were killed, and some families raped. One day, we were asked how many kids are willing to be trained, like to be soldiers. Everyone was interested. No one was forced. For me, my desire was to revenge what happened in my village, and I said, okay, I'm going to learn how to fire a gun. We were all happy. We couldn't sleep that night because we know tomorrow we're going to be trained. This rap I'm doing is a personal thing. It's, it's, it's about me, about my country, and what I face. Are you guys ready? Yes. OK. My dreams are like torment. My every moment, voices on my brain of friends that were slain. Friends like Loal who died by my side of starvation. We used to raid villages, stealing chickens, goats, and sheep, anything we could eat. I knew it was rude, but we needed food. And therefore, I was forced to sin, forced to sin to make a living. Sometimes you gotta lose to win. Never give up, never give in. Left home at the age of seven. One year later, I live with an AK-47. By my side, slept with one eye open wide. Run dark, play dead and hide. I've seen my people die like flies. Yiggish, yiggish, I'm on a fight. Day and night, sometimes I'm doing wrong in order to make things right. It's like I'm living a dream, first time. I'm feeling like a human being, ah. Uh. The children of die for your empty bellies on the telly. Now it's you that I'm fighting for. Ask God questions. What am I here for? Why my people poor? Innocent people die every day. And I ask God why and why. When the rest of the children were learning how to read and write, I was learning how to fight. That's my story. child is born, the child is free, you see. They don't know who can be their enemy. I've lost my childhood, but at the moment I'm moving with what I have and with what I can achieve. Any more questions? That's a that's a heavy question. You know, when you go to war and you're young, sometimes you don't even know where you're shooting at. You just fire in the bush and assume you've killed someone. It's just like when you see the bushes running. And then you dive and then... We had so much hatred. There's one of this guy, he has no gun, he has no anything. We want to beat him with our hands and cut him with machetes and finish him to death. And seeing him is like you're screaming, you're hitting him on his head. I remember kicking the guy on his back here. There's a certain joy of feeling like you're a man and you've achieved something. We cut him into pieces, basically, and beating him to death. Sometimes when I survive in a place, I say, why did I survive? Sometimes I used to wish, hey, let me die. I've been, I've been suicidal, I'll say like that. Most of the time I was suicidal, but not anymore now.
I'm just uh, coming to say hello to everyone and being thankful to God how He has brought me and lifted me up from the hard times I used to be here. I have so many scars that I've not rebuilt out, things that, because you may say, okay, you have gone to war. But there's the other parts that people forget. What about the internal injuries? Like, what happened inside? Kilalesha Community Church showed me so much love. I started joining the choir, trying to write songs, and it started healing me emotionally. When I'm on stage, I'm taking it serious, saying, we cannot change people's life by our own strength. So we need a supernatural power to help us. The Lord will help us have a great show and minister to the people of God. And I thank you and in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.